Use English here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A Kaiwa time trial. Let's get started with day six for the month of May. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. I'm Steve Saracy. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. Okay, I have a question for you. How are you today? Good. All right. Today, I'll say something in Japanese. And you say it in English. Okay, let's begin with our first time trial. では僕の言う日本語を英語で表現してみてください。それは何のロゴですかどうぞ。では答えを言います。What's そのように言われたら、例えばミラクルという日本の歌です。It's a Japanese song から言ってください。どうぞ。次のクエスチョンです。アプリについて聞きましょう。それは何のアプリですか？ つづいてその答えになるような表現です。天気予報のアプリです。では続いて本について聞きましょう。それは何の本ですか？つまり何についての本ですか？どうぞ。では続いてそれは何の写真ですか？どうぞ。次です。それは何に使うものですか？ では、その答えになるような表現です。携帯を充電するためのものです。It's for から言ってください。どうぞ。さあ、あと3つです。それは何の道具ですか? つまり、何に使う道具ですか? つまり、何に使う道具ですか? 見てもいいですか？英語でどうぞ。Okay, how was your first round? Did you try to say each one? 1回目はすべて答えることができなくても大丈夫です。今から一緒に回答例をチェックして、そして最後にもう一度言ってみます。So, let's go to the next step. We'll show you some sample answers. That's right. So now you can check your answers with mine. And if you have our textbook, you can follow along there too. Here we go. それは何のロゴですか? What's that logo? What's that logo? 次です。これは何の曲ですか? What's this song? ミラクルという日本の歌です。It's a Japanese song called Miracle. 相手にとって分かりやすい説明ですね。まず, it's a Japanese song. そしてその後, called miracle. 文を分けて言うこともできますね。It's a Japanese song. It's called miracle. 次のクエスチョンです。それは何のアプリですか? What's that app? 英語でアプリのことは app. アプリケーションを短くした表現ですね。What's that app? 天気予報のアプリです。英語で言うと? It's a weather app. It's a weather app. 天気予報ですから, it's a weather forecasting app. でももちろん正解です。では続いて, それは何の本ですか? つまり何についての本ですか? What's that book about? What's that book? でも通じますが、中身について聞きたい場合は, What's that book about? 前置詞が大切になります。例えば 
何の映画ですかっていうのは What's that movie about? では続いてそれは何の写真ですか What's that a picture of? 具体的に何の写真なのか聞くのに What's that a picture of? 先ほどは簡単に「about」とつけるだけでしたけれども今回は「a picture of」このように「of」が入る場合は「a 何々 of」ということが多いですジェニーさんの宛てに行ってみよう What's that a picture of? 次ですそれは何に使うものですか What's that for? What's that for? 携帯を充電するためのものです。It's for charging cell phones. 何々のためのものです。It's for. It's for charging cell phones. それは何の道具ですかつまり何に使う道具ですか What's that tool for? 先ほどの「What's that for」を応用して「What's that tool for」。Repeat after Jenny. What's that tool for? 野菜を切るためのものです。It's for chopping vegetables. It's for chopping vegetables. It's for slicing vegetables. あるいは、It's for cutting vegetables でも OK です。では最後です。見てもいいですか Can I see it? Did you understand those phrases? What's that? 何々この基本的な表現から始まって少しずつ応用してきましたね。最後のステップで身につけていきましょう。今学習したフレーズをもう一度テンポよくやってみます。OK, it's time to try these one more time. And we'll pick up the pace a little. So do your best in round two. 皆さんが言った後回答例があります。Here we go! それは何のロゴですか What's that logo? これは何の曲ですか What's this song? ミラクルという日本の歌です。It's a Japanese song called Miracle. それは何のアプリですか What's that app? 天気予報のアプリです。It's a weather app. それは何の本ですか What's that book about? それは何の写真ですか What's that a picture of? それは何に使うものですか What's that for? 携帯を充電するためのものです。It's for charging cell phones. それは何の道具ですか What's that tool for? 野菜を切るためのものです。It's for chopping vegetables. 見てもいいですか Can I see it? OK, time's up. Well, how did you do in round two? We practiced a basic question for asking about things. Your speaking skills are getting better day, day by day. day. This month's theme is Getting to know you. 友達になろう番組のテキストには解説や日本語訳そして英会話に役立つ僕からのアドバイスも載っていますよ。練習書としても活用してください。So, see you next time on 英会話 Time Trial! Bye bye!
English here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A Kaiwa time trial. Let's get started with day seven for the month of May. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceraci. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. Minasan, kyodai wa imasu ka? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Kyo wa kazuku, shinseki ni tsuite, jozu ni shitsumon shitari, kotaetari, dekiri yo ni nari basho. Okay, let's begin with our first time trial. F. P. R. Training. Dewa, boku no yu ni hon go, ego de hyogen shite kudasai. きょうだい。英語で言うとこのクエスチョンを言いましょう。兄弟はいますかどうぞ。では答えになるような表現です。兄が一人います。続いてこの二分を合わせて言えるかどうかチャレンジしてください。妹が一人います。二歳違いです。どうぞ。続いて親戚について表現しましょう。英語でメイっていうのは答えを言います。ニース。続いておい。っていうのは答えを言いますネフィュー文を作りましょう名語さんや甥御さんはいますかどうぞでは答えになるような表現ですいいえまだいませんはい甥が二人いますです。いとこはいますか。では最後にこちら。いとこは2人います。母方に。オッケー、ハウワズヨーファーストラウンド。ディジュセイイチワン。ウィプラクティスソムニューワードズ。エンドウィユーズデムインクエスチョンズエンア
on my dad's side. または on my father's side. Well, did you understand those phrases? Okay, round two に行きましょう。もう一度、日本語を英語で表現してみてください。It's time to try these one more time. We'll pick up the pace a little. 皆さんがいた後、回答例があります。Let's go! 兄弟 Brothers or sisters. または Siblings. 兄弟はいますか Do you have any brothers or sisters? 兄が一人います。I have an older brother. 妹が一人います。2歳違いです。I have a younger sister. We are two years apart. Mei, do you know? Niece. Oi, do you know? Nephew. Mei go san ya, oi go san wa i m a s a Do you have any nieces or nephews? いいえ、まだいません。No, not yet. はい、おいが二人います。Yes, I have two nephews. いとこはいますか Do you have any cousins? いとこは2人います。母方に。I have two cousins on my mom's side. Okay, you did it! Great job! It's time for the 10 second, 10 second challenge. 10秒チャレンジの時間です。10秒以内に自分なりの英語で答えてください。Here's the question for today's 10 second challenge. Do you have any nieces or nephews? メイゴさんやおいごさんはいますか自分なりに答えてください。Okay, 10 seconds on the clock. Do your best to reply with two or more sentences. そうです。目標は簡単です。10秒以内に2分以上目指して返答しましょう。10 seconds on the clock. Here's the question. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Start. Okay, time's up. Well, did you reply in your own words? Deba Jenny san no hento leo check しましょう Do you have any nieces or nephews? Start. Not yet. I have two younger sisters, and actually, I'll become an aunt this year. My sister's expecting a baby girl this summer. いかがでしたかまず、Not yet. そして、妹は二人います。I have two younger sisters. そして、And actually, I'll become an aunt this year. My sister's expecting a baby girl this summer. 妹がこの夏に女の子を出産予定ということですね。OK, I'll ask the same question. もう一度チャレンジしてください。Here's the question: Do you have any nieces or nephews? Start. OK, time's up. Well, how did you do? Great job. Your speaking skills are getting better day, day by day. day. So, see you next time on A Kaiwa Time, time Trial. Bye bye.
Use English here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A car walk time trial. Let's get started with day eight for the month of May. Hi everyone. I'm Steve Ceresi. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. 今日は家族や親戚の名前や年齢など上手に聞けるようになりましょう。Okay, let's get started with our first time trial. S P R Training. では僕の言う日本語を英語で表現してみてください。おいごさんは何歳ですか。Nephew を使ってどうぞ。では次です。ご両親は今おいくつですかどうぞ。あなたのおばあさんは今おいくつですかつぎです。めいごさんはなんというおなまえですかアメリカではよくある名前ですかフランス系の名前ですかフレンチネームを使ってどうぞ次です義理の兄あるいは弟英語で言うとでは義理の姉あるいは妹というのは,ではちゃんと文の中に使えるようになりましょう。義理の弟は今メキシコに住んでいます。どうぞ。続いて義理の姉はロシア人です。最後です。家では何語を話していますか ?Okay, how was your first round? Did you try to say each one? 今のラウンド1で全て答えることができなくても大丈夫ですよ。回答例を一緒にチェックしましょう。テキスト持ちの方は見ながら確認してください。So now you can check your answers with mine. Here we go. おいごさんは何歳ですか How old is your nephew? How old is your nephew? いきなり年齢を聞くのは失礼と思うかもしれません。その通りです。いきなり聞くのはやめましょう。しかし、会話の流れがあったら年齢を聞くのは自然なことです。例えば相手が My nephew had a birthday party。それをきっかけに How old is your nephew? と聞けますね。一回ジェニーさんの宛てに行ってみよう。How old is your nephew? では次です。ご両親は今おいくつですか ?How old are your parents now?How old are your parents now? 複数形で言いましたか次です。あなたのおばあさんは今おいくつですか ?How old is your grandmother now? このように、How old の質問を3つしました。次です。メイゴさんは何というお名前ですか What's your niece's name? What's your name? を応用して、What's your niece's name? では、おいごさんでしたら、ネフィを使って言えますかどうぞ。What's your nephew's name? そして、名前を聞いた後に、例えば、アメリカではよくある名前ですか Is that a common name in the US? あるいは、in America も使えますが、定番なのは、in the US。そして、よくある名前、common name。Is that a common name in the US?Repeat this one after Jenny.Is that a common name in the US? もう一つ、相手の名前について、フランス系の名前ですか ?Is that a French name? いつこの質問を使うかわかりますか
例えば相手または相手の親戚がフランス語のような響きの名前でしたら Is that a French name? そこからも会話が自然に広がりますね次です義理の兄あるいは弟英語で言うと Brother-in-law In-law Brother-in-law 日本語では義理の兄義理の弟という言葉があるんですけれども両方とも Brother-in-law ジェニーさんの宛てに行ってみよう Brother-in-law では義理の姉あるいは妹っていうのは Sister-in-law Sister-in-law Repeat after Jenny Sister-in-law 義理の弟は今メキシコに住んでいます My brother-in-law lives in Mexico now 続いて義理の姉はロシア人です My sister-in-law is Russian 最後です家では何語を話していますか Which language do you speak at home? あるいは What language? という言い方もよくあります。What language do you speak at home? ジェニーさんの後に行ってみよう。Which language do you speak at home? Well, did you understand those phrases? Okay, it's time for round two. 今学習したフレーズをテンポよくもう一度言ってみましょう。We'll pick up the pace a little. 皆さんが言った後、回答例があります。So try to say your answer before Jenny says the sample answer. Okay, do your best. Let's go. おいごさんは何歳ですか How old is your nephew? ご両親は今おいくつですか How old are your parents now? あなたのおばあさんは今おいくつですか How old is your grandmother now? メイゴさんは何というお名前ですか What's your niece's name? アメリカではよくある名前ですか Is that a common name in the US? フランス系の名前ですか Is that a French name? 義理の兄あるいは弟英語で言うと Brother-in-law. 義理の姉あるいは妹っていうのは Sister-in-law. 義理の弟は今メキシコに住んでいます My brother-in-law lives in Mexico now. 義理の姉はロシア人です。My sister-in-law is Russian. 家では何語を話していますか Which language do you speak at home? Okay, time's up. Well, how did you do? Those were today's phrases. You can ask some deeper questions and get to know people more deeply. A great way to do that is to talk about each other's families. Great job today. Your speaking skills are getting better day, day by, by day. day. This month's theme is Getting to Know You. 友達になろう番組のテキストには解説や日本語訳そして英会話に役立つ僕からのアドバイスも載っていますよ練習書としても活用してください。So, see you next time on A-Kaiwa Time Trial! Bye bye!
here and now. Let's get started with day nine for the month of May. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceresi. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. 今週の木曜日と金曜日は対話カラオケ。ラジオを通して皆さんと僕たちが模擬会話するトレーニングです。木曜日は対話カラオケベーシック。基礎編です。今日は友人とレストランでランチをとる模擬会話です。そして今日は最後に「Let's go go」がありますよ。We'll check some great sentences sent in from our learners.First, let's get warmed up with a question.Let's warm up! 実際に会話を始める前に会話に出てくる一つのクエスチョンを確認しましょう。レストランで「Did you decide what to order?」それに対して「Yes」か「No」などをまず答えてください。そして余裕があったら一言付け加えてください。では質問します。Did you decide what to order? どうぞ。OK、Let's check some sample replies.OK、okay, Number one.No, not yet. いえ、まだです。No, not yet.Number two.Yeah, I'm gonna have this spaghetti dish. まず、Yeah と言って、I'm gonna have this spaghetti dish.Number three.Nope. What are you having? Nope. No という意味で会話でよく使います。ということでもう一度トライしてください。Did you decide what to order? どうぞ。OK, now you're warmed up and you're ready for a conversation over the radio. Taiwa Karaoke Basic Here's the scene for today's Taiwa Karaoke. これから僕の言うことを想像してください。友人と一緒にレストランでランチを取ります。注文前に友達の携帯電話に写真が送られてきます。その写真についてやり取りをします。So, Steve will say something in English and you reply in English. Keep the conversation going. Let's get started. Did you decide what to order? I might have a pizza. I'm getting hungry. How about you? Oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Aw, isn't this the cutest picture? 話を受けて何の写真か聞きましょう。どうぞ。It's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. メイゴさんの年を聞きましょう。My niece is three years old. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Yes かのなど言ってからしっかり答えてください。どうぞ。Oh, here's our server. Let's order. Okay, time's up. How was your conversation? では、ジェニーさんとこの会話をしてみます。So, I'm having lunch with my friend Jenny, and you'll listen to how she replies.That's right. And if you have our textbook, you can follow along there too. Listen closely.Did you decide what to order?Yeah, I'm gonna have this spaghetti dish.I might have a pizza. I'm getting hungry. How about you? I'm getting hungry too. Oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Aw, isn't this the cutest picture? 話を受けて何の写真か聞きましょう。That's adorable. What's this a picture of? It's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. 
メイゴさんの年を聞きましょう。How old is your niece? My niece is three years old. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Not yet. I have two younger sisters. My youngest sister just got married, actually. I hope I'll become an aunt someday soon. Oh, here's our server. Let's order. Yeah, let's. Did you understand our conversation? Let's check out some of my replies. Bokuga, oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Isn't this the cutest picture? Mazu Hanashi o Jenny san kono yoni uke mashita. That's adorable. Sono yoni Hanashi uke ta ato ni. What's this a picture of? So shite koko de, it's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. Birthday no Hanashi ga demashita no de, koko de, toshi o kiku no wa, shitsurei dewa a r i m a s e How old is your niece? Okay, let's try this conversation one more time. This is your chance to have this conversation and do a little bit better than before. This month's theme is getting to know you. Ready? Start! Did you decide what to order? I might have a pizza. I'm getting hungry. How about you? Oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Aww, isn't this the cutest picture? Hanashi o uke te nan no shashin ka kikimashou. It's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. Meigo san no toshi o kikimashou. My niece is three years old. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Oh, here's our server. Let's order. Okay, time's up. Well, how did you do? Now let's talk about our special contest called Let's Go Go. Let's Go Go は毎月のお題に合わせて5つの単語で英文を作ってみるコーナーです。今月紹介するお題は Travel Trouble 旅先での失敗。では今月の優秀作品を2つチェックしましょう。まず千葉県たかちゃんさんの作品です。Congratulations! First, let's check out the Japanese comments. 旅先でよく迷子になります。そんな時、地図を見せながらこう尋ねます。それを5つの英単語で表すとこんな。Go, go! Excuse me, where am I? <laughs> Excuse me, where am I? That's a good one. Okay, let's check out one more. Fukuoka Ken, Audrey san no sakuin des. Congratulations! First, I'll read the comment. Yujin to Australia de densha ni no te ita no des ga, eki ni tsui te mo doa ga hiraki masen de shita. Sore o i tsutsu no e tango de arawas to kon na. Go, go! We didn't press the button. I see. <laughs> 日本でもボタンを押さないとドアが開かない電車もありますね。一瞬パニックになりますね。降りなきゃ、でもドアが開かない。<笑><笑>さあ、今日紹介した作品や皆さんの力作、そして詳しい応募方法はテクストに掲載しています。これから募集するお題は、My mom, my dad. 私のお父さん、お母さんです。Jenny and I look forward to your original sentences.Okay, your English is getting better. Day by day. So, see you next time on A Kaiwa Time Trial. Bye bye. Use English. 
here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A Kaiwa time trial. Let's get started with day 10 for the month of May. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceraci. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. So today, we have an expanded version of Taiwa Karaoke. And today's lesson will be in almost all English. Hobo all English desasumimasu. Here we go. Taiwa Karaoke Advanced. Taiwa Karaoke Advanced. Oyo hen desu. Today, you'll have the conversation with me. So, imagine this. You're having lunch with your friend, Jenny. Jenny will say in the beginning, Did you decide what to order? You can say yes, no, not yet. And then you'll talk about a picture that Jenny gets on her cell phone. It's a picture of her niece. And from there, You'll take the lead in the conversation, and you'll ask me the questions. All right. You're at a restaurant with your friend Jenny. Try to complete a nine-turn conversation. Ready, start. Did you decide what to order? Oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Isn't this the cutest picture? It's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. My niece is three years old. Her name is Bella. Bella Anna Lombardo. Italia ke no namae ka kikimasho. Yes, it is an Italian name. My brother in law is Italian. Ie de wa nani go hanashite iru ka kikimasho. They speak English. But her dad teaches her some Italian words and songs. Did your parents teach you any English at home? I see. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Oh, here's our server. Let's order. Okay, time's up. Did you keep the conversation going with me? Now I'll show you some sample replies. If you have our textbook, open it and follow along. Here we go. Did you decide what to order? Nope. What are you having? Oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Isn't this the cutest picture? That's adorable. <laughs> What's this a picture of? It's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. How old is your niece? My niece is three years old. Oh, that's such a cute age. What's her name? Her name is Bella. Bella Anna Lombardo. Is that an Italian name? Yes, it is an Italian name. My brother in law is Italian. Which language do they speak at home? 
They speak English, but her dad teaches her some Italian words and songs. Did your parents teach you any English at home? Hmm, not really. But sometimes my mom read books to me in English before bed. I see. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Not yet. I have two younger sisters. My youngest sister just got married, actually. I hope I'll become an uncle someday soon. Oh, here's our server. Let's order. Yeah, let's. So, did you understand our conversation? Let's check a few phrases. Jenny said the name of her niece. Her name is Bella. Bella Anna Lombardo. So, Nicite, is that an Italian name? And then Jenny said? Yes, it is an Italian name. My brother-in-law is Italian. And that leads naturally to this question. Which language do they speak at home? And then Jenny said? They speak English, but her dad teaches her some Italian words and songs. That's her reply, and then she asks you another question. Did your parents teach you any English at home? My reply was, not really, but sometimes my mom read books to me in English before bed. How about you? Just reply in your own words. We'll do this conversation one more time. So do your best to keep the conversation going with me and try to do a little better than last time. This month's theme is... Getting to know you. Ready, start. Did you decide what to order? Oh, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. Isn't this the cutest picture? It's a picture of my niece's birthday party. Yesterday was her birthday. My niece is three years old. Her name is Bella. Bella Anna Lombardo. Italia ke no namae ka kikimashou. Yes, it is an Italian name. My brother in law is Italian. Ie de wa nani go hanashite iru ka kikimashou. They speak English. But her dad teaches her some Italian words and songs. Did your parents teach you any English at home? I see. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Oh, here's our server. Let's order. All right, you did it. You completed the conversation. Today and this month, you took the lead in the conversation. We practiced some basic questions. Asking questions is a good way to have a conversation. Your conversation skills are getting better day by day. And week, week by week. week. This month's theme is Getting to know you. Tomonachi ni naro. Bangumi no text ni wa kaisetsu ya nihongo yaku. So shite e kaiwa ni yaku datsu boku kara no advice mo notte imasu yo. Renshu chou toshite mo katsuyo shite kudasai. So, see you next time on Eikaiwa Time Trial. Bye bye!